Hello, beautiful spiritual superstars. I'm Nicole and welcome to our Mercury retrograde dun, 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 spiritual guidance. So if you like what you hear, please like our video, share spiritual guidance and serve in that beautiful wavelength. It is a movement and we definitely want you to be a part of it. Subscribe, join our spiritual superstar family and let's get started thank you so much for your support guess what mercury has already begun to go in that wonky confusing haywire all things oh my gosh what's going on in communication <laughs> energy so it began on march 9th really and it goes full-fledged, oh my gosh, I need a timeout, mode on March 22nd through April 15, 2018. Now, here's the thing. I know that everybody, not everybody, some people freak out during Mercury Retrograde. I have been one of those beautiful souls, and I will continue to have my moments just like everyone else. It's okay, though. Mercury retrograde is not the end all and it is not something that curses you. Mercury is the winged messenger. Mercury governs communication. And so when Mercury goes in retrograde, I want you to really open your mind and liken it to this. Let's say you're walking down the strip and you are looking at the windows, looking at the boutiques, the stores, and your whole mindset is window shopping, um, you know, focused on going somewhere specific. I don't have the money. I don't have the time to go in and splurge and indulge, and I'm not going to do it. All of a sudden, something out of your peripheral catches you, and you stop straight in your tracks, and you don't even pause. You don't make a hesitation. You simply start walking backwards without even turning around and you kind of do that lean back because you don't quite want to admit that something just caught your eye that you just can't you know ignore and you kind of look in that window and you're like oh my gosh look at those shoes and then you turn and you look at it and you start thinking how can I get those shoes oh my gosh they are amazing Oh my gosh, and they're brand new. They've just been put out. No one's going to have them. Oh man, okay, I've got a few minutes. You look at your watch and you're like, okay, I've got five minutes. I can be in and out, have these pair of shoes. I can use them for, I can wear them for the wedding. I've got, I've got to go to tomorrow. Oh my gosh, everyone's going to ask me about these shoes. They're amazing. Go in there. The sales clerk, who is an expert at her craft, absolutely tells you to get them, convinces you to do so, and tells you while you look at the little message on the counter, all sales are final. So she just says, yes, that's very true. However, these shoes belong to you and you are going to own it. You are going to work it and you know that what she's saying is very true. So, you walk out of that store in three minutes, you've got these beautiful, fabulous pairs of shoes, and you just start skipping down the street. And then the very next day, you repeat your steps and you go past that store, and all of a sudden, there is a 75% off sign in the same pair of shoes. And you literally lose yourself for a couple of seconds your mouth is dropped straight to the floor the ground you go in there and you ask the saleswoman who is the same one wait a minute i just bought these yesterday and you told me they were one of a kind and then that they weren't going to go on sale and i should get them then i want my money back and she just points to the sign that says all sales are final and she looks at you and doesn't say a word and you are appalled not so much at her but at your own actions 
that's that energy of Mercury retrograde. Okay, so knowing that stuff like that is going to happen, here's your power. Be in touch and tuned with your intuition right now. Triple check large purchases, don't do them. Double check, paraphrase, uh, make sure that people are understanding what your intent is in communication. This is a time to redo, restructure, realign, rework. Say it with me. Mercury retrograde, R, okay? <laughs> R-E, re, R-E, put that hyphen, re, do, restructure, realign, rework, and nothing new. Now, if you've already been working on something, let's say a campaigning, uh, marketing, blogging, blogging, you're putting out your website, launching your new business, you've already been working on it. Mercury retrograde is going to help you see everything that needs to be fixed. So that's good. Look at it in a very positive, optimistic uh, mindset because you're using Mercury retrograde to your advantage, okay? So Mercury retrograde for March 22nd, which is already in the shadowy phase of her mischievous, shady self, March 9th. So beautiful spiritual superstars, if you're in tune, which you are, with the universal energies that we all are feeling, especially if you are Mercury or Gemini, Sun sign, or Ascendant sign. You're feeling that stuff pretty heavily now. So if you're feeling kind of wonky and kind of confusing and kind of like, what is going on with all the rescheduling and canceling to come back and just say, well, I didn't mean to cancel. All of that, you're feeling it already. So this Mercury retrograde for 2018, we have three, three of those three week confusing times. You can even hear in my communication with you that confusion and that rethinking as I'm processing what I want to say. You're going to be doing that exact same thing. The three Mercury retrogrades for 2018 are happening in fiery signs. The first one, March 22nd through April 15th. And remember, check out that shadow phase because that's when you're going to start seeing things kind of go kind of crazy in communication. All things communication. Body language, text messages, email, making payments that you thought you made and you didn't. I just realized today that uh, one of the courses we just rolled out, our seven-month master class academy, working on your life mission, uh, many of the people, all of the people that chose an installment plan didn't have a first payment taken out. And uh, we were able to look at that and fix the problem because Mercury shadowy phase helped me understand, hey, something's not right. Something's not adding up. So listening to my intuition, humbling myself to say, okay, two and two is not equaling up to four. It's equaling up to an exponent, which is not logically <laughs> possible. So use your, your Mercury retrograde durations or phases to your advantage. They are in fiery signs. March 22nd through April 15th is in fire sign Aries. So this is a beautiful time to begin to really dive into expansion, to really be bold, and to really know that Limiting yourself is not the way to go this year. So really allow yourself to be this new visionary, this new pioneer that is coming up with these innovative solutions that is really taking advantage of the next best thing in building your product 
building your services, building your business, and absolutely going into your life mission. Aries is our pioneer. Aries is the energy that owns it in order to get started. Aries is intense and passionate in what they do for a living. It is their hobby turned into a great money-making um, machine. They own it because they care so much about it. So Aries is that go hard, hustle mentality, and we all have that mindset. With Mercury being retrograde in Aries, be in touch with your intuition and think big, broad scale, big mindset, big ways of thinking how to resolve and attack a problem. How are you going to bring resolution to this thing that is a thorn in your side? How are you going to make more money? How are you going to come up with a good, solid money-making niche? This is that time to really pour your energy into being highly creative, brave, and being that pioneer that says, I'm going for it. However, because Mercury is retrograde, let me give you the dates again. March 22nd through April 15th in Aries. You are going to watch, okay, watch temper tantrums. Adults have temper tantrums all the time. When we can't get our way, we want to manipulate things. When we can't get our way, we want to step outside of our integrity and do things underhanded, do things without integrity, do things illegal, do things to benefit ourselves and being more selfish when this is absolutely going to backfire on you. So triple, double check everything that you're signing, you know, all the documents, triple check reservations, payments, emails, make sure that whoever you're communicating with understands the point you are trying to make. Be extra clear, hesitate, and watch the need to act impulsively. Let me say that again. During March 22nd, through April 15th and give yourself two weeks before, two weeks after because spiritually you're feeling that energy way ahead of time. That's what Divine Source does for us. Prepares us. That is following your spiritual guidance. Being very in tune to your spiritual gifts. Your intuition is your guide right now because our Creator is speaking directly to you through your intuition. So from March 22nd through April 15th, and remember you're giving yourself two weeks window, you are absolutely watching the impulsive, reactive energy in conversation and communication of any kind. When you get an email that upsets you, pause, step away from it. Do not respond immediately to anything. Even when you're in a verbal conversation, pause, formulate your thoughts. Even when you need to say, I don't know, can I get back to you on that? And the person is, well, I want to talk about this now. No, I want to, we need to discuss this right now. Stay in your power. Take a deep breath in and tell them, I know that you want to discuss this right now. And I understand your urgency. And that's why I want to give you my energy. And I need to think about this. 
first. I value you. I value how you feel. Let me give it some thought. Come from a place of love, assertiveness, respect, and compassion. Aries energy is very passionate. Aries, honey, Aries parents, they really truly care so much about their kids. What they do is truly for their kids. I don't care how old their kids are. And I don't care how much you say, well, I don't like that Aries. I, you know, Aries are this, that, and the other, and bleep, bleep, bleep. In their soul, Aries are building a legacy. And when they're not in, uh, in tuned with that for their children, then they're off. They're disappointed in themselves. So know that that side of Aries often is hidden because it causes them to feel powerless. That's a part of their power, is owning that outward strength, okay? So we've all got that energy now. Hesitate, triple check, rework, redo, realign, restructure from March 22nd through April 15th. That's officially the Mercury retrograde. That's when it's full, strong retrograde. But two weeks before, those that are aware of their spiritual gifts, that are very, you know, aware of your intuition, your connection with our Creator, then you're not ignoring the energy, which is why I suggest strongly that you really be mindful about what is happening that is aligned with redo, restructure, rework in your life, okay? Two weeks before, two weeks after, March 22nd through April 15th. So, dear loves, thank you so much for tuning in and for really spreading spiritual guidance. It is a way of life. It is something that I've lived all my life, but I realized it at six years old. And you have a strong, direct connection with our creator too. So thank you so much for using it. Thank you so much for teaching it. And thank you so much for sharing spiritual guidance. Honey, I will see you very, very soon. Love you. Mwah.